Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, well, we helped a strange fellow called Jeb find his horse. Uh, we did some racing. There is a house that we need to go and purchase. If I can remember the controls, that'd be freaking fantastic up here because that is part of the completion uh, we tried our hand at horseshoe which we got thoroughly and utterly spanked on which well didn't really surprise me too much because uh, there seems to be quite a lot to it to be honest and I think all of the uh, mini games in this game are going to be somewhat challenging to say the least now we do have Irish's missions to start working over, but we also, if memory served, uh, we have a stranger to go and deal with. So, let's go see the stranger, shall we? Seems like a rather reasonable thing to do. Wherever that ranger, ranger? Stranger is residing. Um, I've been playing way too much Starfield, so I'm getting the buttons kind of somewhat confused because I've been playing that on my Xbox, not my PC. So, all right, now I vaguely remember this one actually. Evening. Now, is he at the back of the building or? They took my horse. Who took your horse? Who's that? Ah, son of a bitch. Well, my horse is quite a way away, so... Ah, come on, Midnight. Let's ride. Let's go return this horse to this uh, rather unfortunate fellow. Horse jacking gets you murdered. So, sorry, pal. Now. Yeah, son of a bitch. All right, midnight. Let's try that again. Once more feeling. Somehow. Hey, there we go. Oh, right. We've got to keep the button held down, don't we? Come on, horsey. Let's get you back to your... I don't like to call the... Uh, I, I don't like to say owner, because... Yeah, I don't believe any person should own another living creature, but, you know... Whatever. Let's get you back to the owner. Because that's what the game says. Now we're up to date on all of our foraging quests. We do need to shoot the hats off two people. I believe. And we also need to kill some more wolves with a knife. But, yeah. As we've kind of seen, that's more problematic than you would imagine it would be. You know. You would imagine that trying to kill a wolf with a knife would be challenging. Because of the teeth and the biting and the mayhem. Not the fact that they just run away from you constantly. I wonder if we knife that dog. Does that count? Probably not. Well, the thief didn't really change his mind. The bullets kind of changed his mind for him. What do we get for that? Should get something for that. There we go. We've got nineteen dollars. Not bad, actually. All right. Looks like our honor gauge is actually like maxed out, which is fun. Also, we get stuck on the fence there, which is fantastic. It's a typical rock star kind of feature. Hey. Well, maybe. Brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment. Oh, God. Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? What? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. That is why I am to build my new film studio and make new Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years and it'll all be here. I'll produce adventure stories. 
Olympics, as well as melodramas for the ladies, and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves Landing. Oh dear. I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'm not much of a high stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. Uh oh. Now he's run off to the gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. <laughs> Well, that was an interesting uh, exchange. So, oops. So, uh, somebody. Oh, I know what I've been playing that's completely fucked my uh, <laughs> muscle memory. Um, Pillars of Eternity. I've been playing that on the Switch. And yes, of course, the uh, menu button in that game brings up the map. Where, of course, in this game it is not. So, um, we can go to Thieves Landing. Where's. Benedict Point. There it is. I'm guess. I'm guessing we don't exactly have that mission yet. I mean, we could go try some liar's dice. I guess. Uh, I don't. I don't really remember liar's dice. I don't remember how that works. As long as it doesn't involve cards. We might be okay. So, John thinks uh, all this motion picture business is drivel. Well, well, John, you obviously haven't seen Alien, or Aliens, or Predator, or Commando, any of the greats, Demolition Man, Starship Troopers. Oh, John, just wait. Films might be a load of old steaming shit now in your time, but uh, they get good, John. Then they get bad again. But when they're good, they're good. Evil Dead, Terminator, uh, the classics, Independence Day. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Should we try? Ah, they're not wolves. They're not wolves. So we're not going to bother with those guys. And one day, John, they might make a film about you. Yes. Some spaghetti westerns, huh? Why not? So, Liar's Dice. How difficult can that actually be? Probably reasonably. Now, I never watch films. At least I never used to. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch quite a few films. Uh, you know, and then in my teens as well. But uh, since I became an adult, like, I, I don't watch anything at all. I'd rather be gaming. And if I'm not gaming, I'm working. So, you know. Um, however... We could also do a night mission as well, because we do need to complete a night mission. Um, to get the completionist. 100%, so go on then. Um, yeah, I have been watching um, films now, though, since my brother moved in. To the apartment above us. We've been having film nights. Every week. Sometimes twice a week. 
So we've been putting random stuff on and yeah, it's been a good time. I suppose rather be shooting banditos in the face or slashing up goblins and monsters in Pillars of Eternity, but yeah, the films are okay too, I suppose. Where are you going, Pooch? I don't think the Pooch knows where he's going. There we go. I think the poor sod got a little bit turned around. That dude's like badge is gleaming in the moonlight. Yeah, man, Ben. Was the dog called Ben? I forget. It's all quiet so far, anyway. Oh, we might get some wolves. Make sure we got the knife ready. Nothing, Ben? Alright. <laughs> He's just patrolling around. His little dog. Off he goes on his own. Doing a man's work. Actually moving relatively quickly. Come boy, let's go find some action. Oh, hello. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. What have we got? Who's being murdered? Oh. You're a break you're a break in. That's no good. Are you trying to break into like a woman A woman's like I don't know bathroom or something? Yeah, well Oh You could leave him here. Alright. Well that was easy. Cause when we did it before, the quest didn't work for some reason. Not sure why. What do we get? Sixty dollars. That's that's really freaking lucrative. But I'm guessing we can only do that like once, once a night or something. I don't know. All right. Anyway, back to Thieves Landing. And see if we can't become an actor after having a game of dice. Now that stranger, uh, in regards to the guy that's become a gunslinger, I can't remember if you have to save him or if you actually have to challenge him to a duel. And if I remember correctly, I think you got to shoot the gun out of his hand. I think, but I could be thinking of another quest. Which is fine. There's plenty of quests. Alright. So, Thieves Landing. What a name for a place, honestly. Liar's Dice. Alright. I'm pretty sure you just roll a dice and whoever gets the highest wins. Maybe. Uh, no. I'm not in a gambling mood. Do I look like a moron? Is that lies? Is that like above us? Apparently it's right here. Hey, love. Uh, I don't really want to drink. Where the hell is the liar's dice? Is it above us? Can't be above us, surely. Well, there is a second floor, so maybe. Can't go in through the back. <laughs> um, okay, that was 
bad. So water kills you instantly. Ah, uh, good to know, I suppose. Like GTA 4 all over again, I suppose. All right, where are we now? Son of a bitch. Oh, hello. Who needs help now? Who robbed you? Ah, uh, son of a... Really? Honestly? My work is never done. Come on, midnight. Catch up. Pretty sure you should be able to outrun me. Come on, buddy. There we go. Right, now, where are you, you little shit stain? Ruining the ambience of Thieves Landing in such a distasteful way. Um, Jesus, dude. There we go. Alright. Come to Papa. We're going to see you hang for this. Yep. Pretty much. Except, unlike a slow elk, I'm going to take you to the hangman's noose. <laughs> yes. Oi, midnight. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. <laughs> Come on, John. Let's get him back. Let's cart this piece of shit back to town. Stealing off an innocent person. On. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a miracle that guy stayed attached. There we go. Just roughing him up a little bit. Don't want him to be too comfortable now. There you go, love. Um, can I have the, can I have the dude, please? Again. Thank you. All right. This guy smells like he soiled himself. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. Keep kicking him. Kick him till there's nothing left but blood. Ooh, twenty dollars. All right. We'll take it. Howdy, partner. Now. Can we play? Alright, I don't know how this quest works. Um, is it set at a certain time? It's definitely not outside. That's... Is it this guy? Alright. Alright, that's poker. Absolutely do not want to play. Right, I'm confused. So unless we can go downstairs... Which doesn't look possible. Or unless we can go upstairs... Is it you? Or you? Maybe this quest is just glitched out. Yeah, maybe. Certainly seems like this quest is glitched. Uh, although... Yeah, it looks like we need to be on another level to do it. Because it's a different colour. I'm pretty sure that means it's above us. So how the fuck, Nuggets, do we get upstairs? Yeah, it's got to be above us up there. I see. Which is fine. But how do we get upstairs? Can't be that challenging. 
Can it? Oh, someone's screaming. Oh, you are indeed being kidnapped. That's no good. Can we not aim at that guy? Oh, you stupid git. No kidnapping in my town. I was going to say, she's not actually doing anything, but she's hogtied. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Four dollars. Your life was worth four dollars. Barely worth the bullets, to be honest. Right. How the fuck, Nuggets, do you get up there? Do I have to pause to look this up? Possibly would be the answer. So there's no door back there. It can't be this difficult to get upstairs. It can't be. Marshall around these parts have been seen beating women folk, eh? Wonder if that's something we can look into. Alright. Um, I have absolutely no idea how we get upstairs. Doesn't appear that there's actually any way at all upstairs. There's a door up there. Right, one second guys. This must have glitched or something. Okay, not sure what happened, but after just walking around for ages and ages and ages, they finally appeared. And apparently you cannot get upstairs at all. It's some kind of error. Welcome to Lion's Dice. Each round requires a bet called an ante. Please choose if you wish to play or quit. Ante. In Lion's Dice, players bid on the total number of dice on the table. Okay. Uh, to play Lion's Dice, you bid how many dice of a given face are on the table. Take a look at your dice and enter a bid. Uh, enter the initial... So... What? We've got to guess how many ones are on the table? Alright. I mean, I don't know how many dice we have. Um, look at my dice. Right. So there isn't... We don't have any. So there's five... Everybody's got five dice, I guess. So there's another six. So, oh, we can change the die face. So we've got three sixes. So let's go for like, I don't know, let's say like eight sixes. If the previous bid is too high, it can be called out as a bluff. Right. When a bid is challenged, the dice are revealed and tallied. Right. Bid was only only five. Mm. If the bid was true, the challenger discards a die. If wrong, the bluffer discards. If spot on, say, so do you have? I'm so fucking confused. Uh, fours. Let's say... You know what? Let's just... Let's just say, like, four ones, maybe? But... This seems to be, like, completely random. The previous bid is low. A player can enter a new one. The new bid must... Okay. Only two of those. Okay. So you just have to guess how many dice faces. That's... Iffy as fuck. 
three double zero or three ones. Um, I'm gonna say I bet. I bet there's four threes on the table. Mm-hmm. Five ones. Only two. Okay. This is bizarrely difficult. So, two fives. Let's have a look. How many fives do we have? We don't have any fives. But we've uh, we've got two ones though. So I'm gonna. I'm going to try and go for two or four ones. I bet that there are four ones on the table. Sure. Zero. Oh, man. Son of a bitch. This is not going super well. Hmm. So we've got two sixes and a three. Let's bet that there's five sixes on the board. I don't know if there's like any kind of science to this. Zero, son of a bitch, two. Ah oh, man, one out, one out. So this is like, the trouble with this sort of game is it is 110% complete pure chance. There's no, and this is why I don't like games of chance. Because you've just got to keep going to be lucky. So we've got, you know what? I'm going to say four sixes again because we've already got two. So they only have to have one six each. All right. Hello. Only three. Well, we've only got one tie left. And it's a two. So. It's a shame, really, that we have to enter a bid. Let's just say, let's go for three ones. I'm going to bid that there's three ones. Zero. Zero. Son of a bitch, so we're out. So we can skip our turn. Let's chuck it in. Let's try that one more time. I think this is going to be something that we do off camera. So we've got two fives. Let's bid that there's four fives. Uh, sure. Change quantity. Come on. Zero. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Why do we always have to bid? So, let's go for two. Or we can call out a bluff. Ah, right, hang on, because there's another phase to it. Okay. But we can't call out a bluff. So, bid was a bluff. I don't understand 
Why more often than not, it seems to be us. Right, he bids that there is one two. And he bids that there are two fives. Well, we've got two fives. And he potentially could bid that there is um, one two. And we might have the only one. So, we could declare the bid is spot on. But that seems to be counterintuitive. Let's call the bluff. Because there must be more than one, two, surely. Yeah, there is. Bid was true. Oh, hang on. Because there was at least two. Hmm. I'm really confused at this. Not going to lie. Uh, right. So I guess we're gonna... Let's bid for two threes. Why don't I make a bid? And then I'm gonna call... Alright, uh, he bids that there's three. He... Enter a new bid or call a bluff. I'm gonna call a bluff. I'm gonna call a bluff. Or are you supposed to only... Are you supposed to... Call out a how many dice that you have? So if I say one... Let's just try this one. So does that mean if there's more, we win? Um, I'm just, I'm going to call it a bluff. You show one, show totally in three. The bid was true, at least four. So if there's, wait, so if there's more, you still win. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't even look. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. No twos. Bid was true, at least two, three twos. Okay. Alright. Alright, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to declare spot on, does that mean we both lose dice? Oh, it was dead wrong, son of a bitch, right, so we're going to quit, so does that mean that we lost $400? If you're having trouble winning at cards or dice, the tailor in Thieves Landing may have a piece of clothing that can provide a little bit of help. Alright, well, before we get out of here uh, and save the game, let's go pay the tailor a little visit. Elegant suit. Treasure hunter scrap. What's that? Scrap of clothing belonging to a treasure hunter. Scrap of clothing belonging to one of the Bollard gang. Allows, ah, allows cheating at poker. That's f fine, but that's not going to help us here, though, is it? Hide your ident ah, right, yes. That's actually good to have. And I guess we shall buy all of these. But from what I can understand, this suit. You purchase a piece of clothing, use the item from your satchel, and it will be added to your. Oh, okay. So we actually need to use it from our. 
see, in the second game, the uh, bandana was actually uh, an easily equipable piece of equipment, which is curious. So I guess that's already been used. All right, elegant suit. So I wonder, actually, if the elegant suit that we've got, does that allow us to cheat for everything? Or is it, as it said, specifically for poker? Let's go read the description. Right, let's go save it. Get back to our house. Because we definitely cannot afford to keep losing money at that rate right so wearing this high class attire allows you to uh into the heist uh, deadly assassin complete the twin rocks hideout okay yeah so possible okay so that only allows you to do that search thieves landing win at horseshoes in the fire oh god Right. Make a profit at playing blackjack at Rathskella Fort or Fork. Legend of the West. Complete and attain rank 10 in all ambient challenges. Okay. So, I'm going to have to do some research on how to actually win at some of these games just to get some pointers or some tips. Because we're just going to get thoroughly destroyed in them otherwise. Because, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know that, um, I'm not really sure that I understand how Liar's Dice works. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do some reading up off camera. And when we come back, hopefully, I'll have some clue of what to do. So, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.